everybody. Welcome to Laura and Zena's Bedtime Storytime. Hi everyone. Oh, hi Zena. I see that there's lots of people here li to listen to the story today. Lots of people, yeah. They've, um, they've all just come back from the park and they've got sand everywhere because they've been in the sand pit. They had sand in their shoes, sand in their socks. They've trampled it all through the house and they've got it on their beds as well. Oh no, what a mess they've all made. Mm -hmm. But they've all had a bath, so the bath is full of sand now. Oh dear. However, they're now all clean and they've had their milk and they're ready for a bedtime story. Right, and today's story is Julia Donaldson's Night Monkey, Day Monkey. She read the Griffalo as well. She's brilliant. The moon shone down on the jungle. Night Monkey climbed up the tree. She clambered and leapt to where Day Monkey slept and whispered, You can't catch me. Day Monkey woke up and chased her, but lost his grip on the bark. He landed cross on a bed of moss, complaining, It's much too dark. Look, said Day Monkey, hundreds of eyes, winking and blinking and bright. Night Monkey laughed and said, Don't be daft, they're fireflies that flash in the night. Help, said Dun. Day monkey, flying <laughs> mice, or maybe I'm wrong and they're rats. Night monkey laughed and said, don't be daft, haven't you heard of bats? Stop, said day monkey, listen to that, they're sawing the tree into logs. Night monkey laughed and said, don't be daft, it's only a chorus of frogs. <laughs> Hey, said Day Monkey, there's a banana. How does it manage to fly? Night Monkey laughed and said, Don't be daft, that banana's the moon in the sky. Day Monkey yawned and rubbed his eyes. Maybe I'm dreaming, he said. Night time is creepy and I'm feeling sleepy. I'm going to bed. I'm going back to bed. The sun shone down the next morning. Day Monkey slid down the tree. He slithered and leapt to where Night Monkey slept and whispered, You can't catch me. Night Monkey woke up and chased him, screwing her eyes up tight. She came to rest in an empty nest, complaining, It's much too bright. Look, said Night Monkey, moths wearing makeup. Why are they in disguise? Day Monkey laughed and said, Don't be daft, they're beautiful butterflies. Help, said Night Monkey, look at those giants swinging about in the trees. Day Monkey laughed and said, Don't be daft, those giants are chimpanzees. Stop, said Night Monkey, screeching owls, the colour of peas and carrots. Day Monkey laughed and said, don't be daft, haven't you heard of parrots? Hey, said Night Monkey, naughty black monkeys, can't they keep out of our way? Day Monkey laughed and said, don't be daft, our shadows are here to stay. Night Monkey yawned and rubbed her eyes. Maybe I'm dreaming, she said. Daytime is crazy. I'm feeling lazy. I'm going back to bed. <sighs> now Night Monkey sleeps in the daylight and Day Monkey sleeps in the night. But now and again at sunrise, when it isn't quite dark or light, 
they share a bunch of bananas halfway up a tree. Day monkey calls it breakfast, night monkey calls it tea. And that's the end, I think. Yep. Oh, that's a wonderful story. It was lovely, wasn't it? Made me very sleepy. Yeah, me too. All well, your yawning made me yawn. <laughs> okay then. Night, night, everybody. See you soon. Thanks for listening. <laughs>